down with Charlotte Plastic Surgery, telling us what treatments work and what treatments you shouldn't bother with. Come back for more Good Day right after this. Hey, Charlotte. Well, we are inundated every day with commercials, social ads, blogs, and more about all the products and treatments that are guaranteed to help correct your imperfections. And as you probably know, not all of them work. Dr. Stephen Finical with Charlotte Plastic Surgery here now to tell us which treatments basically are worth it and which ones you can just kind of skip. You see all of these coming through on our Instagram feeds every day and you wonder, well, could that work for me? So let's start with one that, that is sort of very on trend now with the Kardashians and everything else. The lip plumping serums. Yeah, the serums themselves don't work. They're kind of irritants to, to make the lips swell. Mm -hmm. So if they work, they might work for an hour or so. Very indifferent. You know, injectables are a much better solution to, to for lip plumping. But plumpers themselves that are topicals just have not worked this year. The other thing that really hasn't worked uh, or is something that, that has been a disappointment has been home ki kind of remedies in, in microneedling. What's been the microneedling? So again, remind us well, of that, too. Microneedling is multiple needles being poked into the skin. So how, do, how well do you think that works at home? Without good pain control and without precise application, the depth isn't usually deep enough and the results Results just are variable and not very good. So that's been a huge disappointment for people. In the office, we can add other augmentation to that. It's done by a machine that's very precise, and so it's a much better treatment. What if the things that we're looking at, I always wonder when I see a celebrity say, I've had this done and it worked great for me, a, they're being paid to do it. It should be hashtagged ad, right? If, if right. it's ever an ad, they, they should let you know that. But also, I mean, do you, do you know what works for one may not be a great fit for other people, right? I mean, it is kind of a very individualistic well, thing. Absolutely. You have to assess every everyone individually, but but usually the patient, uh, the, the, the celebrity kind of endorsements of patient treatments are just broad strokes and don't really work. You're absolutely right. So let's talk about what does work, typically right. at least, across the board for a lot of people. Injectables, you say, really are a good bet for most oh, folks. Great things. You know, I've personally been injecting Botox now for more than 20 years because really? the original articles came out in 97 and I, we jumped on it right away. It's a fabulous, anybody that's over 40 could benefit from Botox because you start anybody to Anybody under 40 can benefit too, I've well, heard. Well, I mean, the trends are going that way, but, but really... It's surprising to me that not more people are using Botox. You know, Simon Cowell said one time, it's like toothpaste. Everybody should use right. it and use it regularly. Right. And, but I really do think that that's something that people haven't seen. The, the other injectables, the fillers, the hyaluronic acid fillers are, are uh, different kind of, of uh, things that plump certain areas. And they're most commonly used in the nasolabial folds, but cheek fillers came out a couple of years ago, are fabulous. What do those do? I, you always hear about those, but it always seems odd to me. People tend to want to make their faces thinner and more sculpted, but you're actually adding, what does that do? Well, I mean, you know, I keep all this for demonstration, but you <laughs> see, as we get old, it, it, we get kind of like candle wax. We drop down, so we're losing the volume in the upper and we're gaining it down here. So, so typically, in Injecting into this area pulls that tissue back up and gives it more width mm -hmm. in the in the middle third of the face, and that's considered attractive. Okay, quickly before you go, because I think we have video of it, and I don't want people to be confused. Yep. Body contouring also is another thing that a lot of people want that can work for a lot of folks. Oh, fabulous! Uh, you know. Really cool sculpting is the thing that has really taken off and, and provided non-invasive, and that's what we're looking at, non-invasive body contouring. This person can drive themselves to and from a treatment, hmm. no downtime at all, and it's great for problem areas. We've got newer applicators that, that you know now can get the arms, can get the submental area, but the, the fabulous thing about it is that there's really no downtime. Dr. And Stephen Fennickel, Charlotte Plastic Surgery, thank you so much. Great tips heading into summer because you all want to look your best, right? So get your workout on, and if it doesn't work, go see Dr. Fennickel. Thanks so much thank for the you. time. Come back for more Good Day right after this. Hendrick. At Hendrick, we give